This looks friggin' insane. Oh my gosh! Guys, this looks like you're in a movie. Oh my gosh! So, you guys, welcome back. We are back on the road. We have had a few days of doing some boring night life admin stuff. We had to extend our visa. We have travelled from. Done. Yep. We have travelled from Dimageti to Cebu and we are now, you guys, heading out on our next adventure. Someone's been stopped by the donut. <laughs> yeah, I am hungry right now and what better way to start your day than a with a Dunkin' Donut. Duh. Oh, what are we going to get? Okay, so you guys, we are just getting our donut in the back. We just got distracted. Literally, we walked like five steps, saw the donuts, had to have them. Salamat. So we're gonna grab our donuts and then we are gonna head into the airport. You guys, we are beyond excited. I cannot tell you how buzzing we are for the next step of this journey. Like, so happy. Happy with your donut. So you guys, we're just dropping our bags um, and we are just, I think, doing the checks, but I'm not too sure. Um, but this airport is busy today. It is super busy. The line was really long. There's one line for check-in and then one line for bag drop. And But because we had already done our check-in online, we could just go straight to the bag drop, which is kind of nice. But we're just literally getting our stuff now. Oh. Lovely. Where are we going? Boracay. So excited, we literally cannot wait. We hadn't initially planned to go to Boracay this soon. We, it was going to be towards the end of our trip, but... We're going to take you guys with us. <laughs> We have arrived, we are here, we're so excited. Let's go get our documents checked and let's get to Boracay. Okay, you guys, so we've just landed, we've picked up our bags. One mistake we were about to make was to pay the thousand per person um, for a foreign tourist to get all the way to Boracay, to get on the ferry, to get the other side. Um, but literally, you can go outside, head to a trike pay 50 peso per person and you get basically a tricycle to the ferry then you pay your ferry ticket separately basically guys go and do it separate it works out better for you it's a little bit potentially longer but it's gonna be better for you anyway so come do it this way oh look here's all the trikes they're all lined up we are just stood in this queue waiting and hopefully we can go and get in one of these we'll let you know this is our batmobile Let's get our stuff in. Let's go. Okay. On the, the trike, trike again. <laughs> this is our guy here. Say hello to YouTube. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so we're on our way to the port. From the port, we have to get a port, which is probably about five minutes to uh, main Boracay. And um, from there, I think we have to get uh, transfer over to our hotel. So we'll take you guys with us. Let's go. We're excited finally here. Good morning, you guys, from our first full day here in Boracay. We are so excited to be here. We are staying in station two, um, or very, very close to it. They separate it out by station one, station two, station three. So we are station two on White Beach, um, and White Beach actually stretches down all three of the stations. So it's a huge, huge, huge beach, and um, we've heard great things so we are so excited 
Are you ready? I am. I'm hungry. I was <laughs> looking at shops where we can stop and get something to eat. You were looking at a fruit shake. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually really feeling a fruit shake right now. Banana, coconut, whatever. Oh. Something tropical. But we're literally like five minutes away from the beach. Let's go. This look friggin' insane. Oh my gosh. Guys, this looks like you're in a movie. Oh my gosh, but it is so busy. Wow. The Filipinos are all down in Boracay. There's so many people. Oh my gosh, look. This is insane. Oh my god, what do you think? I think this is amazing. Wow, it's the first word that comes to mind. Like, look at the color of the water. We're gonna go this get is in. Unbelievable. I've already taken my flip flops off. I'm getting in the water straight away. Oh, and it's warm. Oh, wow. This is so this is cool. Gorgeous. And do you know what makes this different? Is we noticed this last night, but look at it during daytime. The entire stretch of the beach, both sides, is all covered with palm trees throughout the length of the beach. That is gorgeous. Look at this, like all the way down there, all the way up here. This is inside and the whole way along like the beachfront, there's restaurants, there's cafes, there's shops, there's like souvenir places, there's ice cream stands, there is literally something here for like everyone. This is insane and we are loving it. There's a see-through paddleboard. Oh no way, there's a see-through paddleboard, there's people out there on see-through kayaks. We have to do this. I've never seen a see-through paddleboard before. See-through kayaks, yes, yeah. see-through paddleboard? That's never seen. New. Wow. Wow. Like especially White Beach being the most popular beach down here, there's so many people about. But you know what, that's a good thing after Covid, seeing so many people together on a beach having a good time like this, that is absolutely banging. Like that's what you want to see after Covid. But hey, look at this, like you've got shops, restaurants, all along the beach as far as you can see, like keep walking all the way down. or behind us over there as well as far as you can go as far as you can see there's literally shops restaurants bars which is a good thing you guys we've seen so much like so many um fresh fruit stands as well i think i want some pineapple or some watermelon oh i'm mm. feeling mango right now oh oh my god i could do that too actually i'm not <laughs> i'm not a party <laughs> but yeah i think being on this beautiful island, let's get some fresh fruit, let's go sit on the beach, enjoy it. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna walk along now and see. Okay, thank you. <laughs> So the sun's finally come out like full throttle and I want to show you guys the colour of the water now like with the sun overhead. Just look at the shade. Wow. This is beyond incredible like how amazingly beautiful is this? All of that. Wow. It's like Gatorade's been emptied in the sea here. This is stunning. All throughout the beach, the entire stretch of the beach is all like palm trees everywhere. All right, so today's a Monday, right? And um, we got here yesterday. We were thinking, okay, by Monday, people would have actually cleared up a little bit. It would be bit slightly quieter. less busier, yep. a bit quieter. Uh, well, nope. not, not so much. <laughs> That's a big uh, fat no. Yeah, you know. Like, it doesn't matter if it's a Saturday or a Sunday down here. Like, I reckon this is the sort of place that remains busy yeah. throughout the week. All year round as well, up there. Yeah. <laughs> so, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Do you know what? Every single day down here in Boracay yeah. is busy. As you can see, people, people everywhere. 
Bell. Time right now is 22.11 and it is packed already and it's only going to get busier which is alright. Good stuff. And we've just seen a Hello Mango shop so we're hoping there's some more smoothie shakes down here. Hello Mango. Look at this. We are thinking that there might be some bits here. Fresh mango shake. Fresh mango shake. Fresh mango shake. 60 pesos. All I see is liquor bottles behind us. <laughs> <laughs> Can we drink. get one mango shake please? Happy days. 60 pesos. I, Mixed fruit is I did not see the sign Libby did so that's good. This is tiny as well actually. I mean I would have missed it but I was looking. I actually was looking at the spa. <laughs> I was looking at the booze. We had a little uh, happy hour last night, so I'm not going to lie, we had a few happy hours <laughs> last night. But yeah, I was looking at the, the booze and the li uh, Libby saw the sign saying, fresh mango shake. Ta -da! So we thought, thumbs up. So the one good thing that we found out about the Philippines is they have one of the best mangoes in the world. I haven't tried the mango here yet. No, that's so true. We haven't even tried them. Yeah, so okay. exciting, exciting because um we found out that philippines is in the guinness book of records for the best mango in the world yeah apparently. we're gonna find out we're gonna put that to test and see how good the mango shake is down here because the mangoes apparently are meant to be let's see if they are or not best mango in the world let's go is it really sweet oh that is sweet that actually doesn't taste like any other mango that we've had but in a good way in a bad way mm. Oh, thumbs up that's good that's what we like to hear that's what we like to see that is so nice you know sometimes you get like a fresh fruit shake especially with mango and it's hairy i don't like those ones <laughs> oh this is not not hairy can it's i try so it so cold it's really sweet mm, it's not like too sweet though it's like the perfect in the middle like yum i'm lost yes. for words it doesn't happen often rated out of 10. um i would say it's a strong 8.5 if not a nine strong 8.5 out of 10. yeah good try some. okay mm. Good, huh? Mm, mm. Are you happy now? You've got your mango shake. Gee, now you can chill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's the mango shake stand. Right next door. This is where Libby wants a watermelon shake. So let's go and get some, let's shall we? Let's go get one. So yes, that's the main thing about being on a tropical island is a beautiful beach, amazing palm trees. What a gorgeous setting. And it is complemented by an amazing drink. So I've got a mango shake. Uh, we have, yeah. We get sexy and and you are going there for. There you go. We're getting a sexy and yummy watermelon shake. Sexy so, and yummy watermelon yeah, shake. So we like to make a watermelon, no milk, to make it fresh and tasty and yummy to make it real. Oh yes, that sounds amazing. I love it. Sweet me a few minutes. I will get the fresh watermelon. Brilliant. Thank, Thank you. you. You that had it here so first, cool. live and direct. Sexy watermelon it. shake. Yeah. There we go. And That's the way to do it. This is a perfect blender, a lot of blade. Oh my god. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, it's a really fantastic a blender. Using this amazing blender. Like oh, there we go. Brick. There you go. A little plug in there for brick, brick. Uh, uh, yeah. Collab, <laughs> alright. Break my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Oh. Never break your heart. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> so here we go. Are you here excited? We are. We are looking excited. forward to it. Press into time number two. Wow. There we go. That's how it's done. It looks, it looks, okay? That looks good. Is it? Come on, try it. It's a tasty or not? Oh wow. This is so smooth. <laughs> I'm not just saying this. It is yeah. actually really smooth. There you go. And it's got the right level of sweetness as well. Yeah. That There's is quality. It's a little mm -hmm. bit. Best shake you've had? Yes. Fresh. Mm. Woo. Fresh, fresh, yeah. fresh. This is made. Really heavy oh, there that. you go. See from that made from to that. Watermelon. Taste it. You like it? Oh, that is nice. That is really good. Let me at the back of the kitchen. I did not make. So my secret how to make with love. Thank yes, love it. Oh my god, you guys! That lady was so sweet she gave us a hug and told us she wanted to come and live in the uk because of harry potter what a lad <laughs> <laughs> so 
that has made my morning she was so friendly um we just did talking to her for like the last 15 20 minutes but she was really 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 sweet got my perfect watermelon shake and i'm not actually even just saying it it's genuinely really good sometimes with watermelon like it's either too watery or it's way too like sweet like they put a syrup in it this is literally all fresh and it tastes so yum like it's so good and literally for 80 pesos you're enjoying your 60 peso mango shake mm -hmm. we're gonna finish our drink jump in the sea I cannot tell you how beautiful the water is. So I'll let you just see it instead. Ah. It's so pretty. Down here, the water is clean. There's like no plastic so far that we've seen anywhere. Like there is a little bit on the beach, but the water is clean. The beach is like pristine, like white sand. There's palm trees along the entire stretch. The water is so blue. One of the best beaches? One of the best beaches I think we've ever been to. Hands down, I am obsessed. It is White Beach, you got my heart. So you guys, we are back out. We have actually just gone back, um, had a quick shower. Um, because we were sticky from the sea and now we are heading for a sunset parao ride parao parao guys can you see how many paraos there are paraos there are waiting there that is madness but we're so excited we are gonna go and see our first sunset here we're excited lighthouse has said sunsets are supposed to be spectacular here so we cannot wait so literally five minutes ago it was like torrential downpour down here and we were thinking oh do you know what we won't be able to go and see the the sunset beautiful glorious sunshine now woo, woo, woo. that's the thing about tropical weather like one minute it's heavy downpours and you'd think okay this is gonna go on for a long time but give it five minutes and the sky opens up and it clears off and it's beautiful glorious sunshine now da, 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 da. there's a few clouds still but none that look ominous as far as rain is concerned and these are all of the parals here i just tripped on that coconut there <laughs> this is so nice on the prowl it's like sailing boat kind of thing and look at the sky over there it looks like it's absolutely raining heavy and then this side is like perfect the sun is out which is what we came for we're on a sunset like boat ride and we are excited Oh, we're so but it's been so much fun it has been Woo! so much fun the sunset is still amazing wow do you know what even though it's raining 
like I said, it's not gonna get in our way of having a good time. No. So if it's raining, you take your tops off, you come out, and you enjoy the rain. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the sun behind us though still. <laughs> We're just gonna have a good time. That's Libby just enjoying the weather, not a care in the world, because if life gives you rain, you just do a little rain dance. <laughs> so, on that note, we're gonna end the vlog here. It has been such an amazing start to Boracay, like it's our first day here. We have absolutely loved it because it's been so, amazing. so good. Like, this place has literally everything beautiful waters, amazing food, yeah. and just the most amazing scenes. The views, wow. Mm -hmm. Loved it. More adventures coming up. If you guys enjoyed today's vlog, consider subscribing if you're new here because that goes a long way. Share that with your friends, your family. You know, why not tell them about us? Because, um, yeah, spread the happiness, spread the joy. And on that note, we shall see you in the next one.